to me just after we had already invited Paul to come. He came up to me and he said, Carrie, do you remember three years ago when I told you something about Paul Cain? And uh, I didn't, I, it just kind of vaguely came back because I remember you asked me if I had any tapes of him and I gave them to you. And uh, he said he'd written something in his journal. So I asked him to bring his journal. And I copied the page. It's dated January 30th, 2004. So a little over three years ago, he wrote this. After he wrote this, he went to Kansas City for two years and interned, then went to Indonesia for about five months and then just came back home. And so he, he wrote this on January 30th, 2004. He said, I was upstairs reading an article from Morning Star Journal, volume 11, number three, by Jack Deere called The Humble Heart. In this article, Jack talks about the desert, but one of the main people he refers to is Paul Cain. After reading this article, I felt as though the Lord said, Joshua, you shall be anointed by Paul Cain. What, O oh Lord, does this mean? I believe it means that I will literally be anointed by Paul Cain. But how could that be? Carrie Browning, I bet you have something to do with this. <laughs> End of journal entry. Three years ago, that took place. But we really feel that Joshua would represent the Joshua generation. Yes, and so we, we felt that it was very significant that this really would take place tonight, literally. And uh, I want to read a passage of scripture that we got out of uh, the other day in, in uh, intercession. And, you know, Moses really had, you know, a handle on tent meetings, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had the glory, didn't he? <laughs> But I was looking in Exodus chapter 33 and verse 7, and this is, this is what it says. Just let this soak into your heart. It was Moses' custom to set up the tent known as the tent of meeting, far outside the camp. Everyone who wanted to uh, consult with the Lord would go there. And whenever Moses went out to the tent of meeting, all the people would get up and stand in their tent entrances. They would all watch Moses until he disappeared inside. And as he went into the tent, the pillar of cloud would come down and hover at the entrance while the Lord spoke with Moses. Then all the people would stand and bow low at their tent entrances. And inside the tent of meeting, the Lord would speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. Afterward, Moses would return to the camp, but the young man who assisted him, Joshua, son of Nun, stayed behind in the tent of meeting. It's where it all began. Place of, of, of intercession, a place of meeting with God personally, face to face, in that tent of meeting. And we really feel it's very significant tonight that Joshua Jones is here tonight representing the Joshua generation. And Joshua, I'm just going to ask that you just come down here, if you would please, and, and Paul, if you would come. And we're just going to allow you just to pray over this young man, anoint him, land, anoint him with oil. We picked up this uh, bottle of oil. It's oil of gladness, but it's a latter rain oil is what it's called. So we're going to allow you to just do that and just pray. And I, I would uh, also desire that those who would be of the John, Joshua generation, if you would stand to your feet, if you're in the in the ages of, uh, let's say you're in the ages of 14 to um, mid-30s. Let's hit the mid-30s. Come on. Just stand to your feet. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Joshua is being anointed. He's standing on this generation's behalf. And so, Paul, would you just pray that prayer, if you would, please? Father, just as sincere as we know how to be, we thank you that you've seen this before we have even dreamed 
about it or dreamt about it. Dear Lord, I pray that a, a universal anointing will just come upon everyone in this audience right now. And it will begin with Joshua, and that a whole generation of young people, Lord, will come into the jealous fire of God, the jealous fire of the Holy Spirit. Lord, let what was on that singer tonight and let what was on those others and as they worship, Lord, come upon this young man and remain upon him. For you said, on whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining, he's the one. Let this be one of the generation of Joshua's that will go forth into all the world and show your glory and show your anointing and be able to give back your glory and Take your glory, Lord, now in Jesus' name. Amen. Paul, we love you. It's already been uh, said in this meeting tonight, and we're just going to have you come. We welcome you to this platform tonight just to deliver whatever the Father has put on your heart. God bless you. Thank you so much. Look, I... Thank you. Thank you, I've already had it. Oh, man. Thank you, thank you. I've already had an overdose, please. <laughs> I've never received such adulation and acclamation, or whatever you call it, in uh, all my life. It seems like three years of wilderness and three years of loneliness and three years of despair, rejection, and everything. You've made up for all of it. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I just want to gather. Yeah. Amen. I want to. I want to gather up everybody that had anything to do with this meeting tonight and this wonderful uh, brother, this musician and this singer that uh, did that. My goodness, if I ever get the interpretation of all of that, I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to do, but uh, I'll probably be, um, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, translated uh, the other way. But all afternoon, I've been wondering what the Lord would be up to because this is the first time I've spoken uh, to this many people in about three